Oh man, that is beautiful. It's different. I love it. But it's changing Toledo for sure. To know that it's something that, you know, will always be remembered. So I was just passing by on a bike ride and I saw him painting this mural, so I hopped off and took a look and it's really amazing. It's so beautifully colorful and there's beautiful birds and butterflies in it and it's just amazing. I grew up um, not too far away from here um, in the old Hungarian neighborhood. East Toledo is always going to be home base for me and I found that being part of the East Side, working on, as a tattoo artist on the East Side for years, I, I knew what the, the culture was truly about and it was about love and acceptance and like truly understanding who we are and loving who we are. I think for so long the East Side, and I can speak for myself too, we feel like we've been forgotten when it comes to large projects happening and like we get all these promises and it never come through. But the Metro Parks putting the new park system here, like that is huge. And I know like my fellow East Siders would agree, like we're all, we love it and we're really appreciative of that happening. We wanted to make sure that we were embodying the spirit of the East Side, but also having it done by East Siders. We took a lot of community input like we do in all of our designs. We all came together and uh, started just tossing ideas out there. The big thing that we wanted to always focus on is where is the Metro Parks traveling to? You know, the future is, is completely whimsical. It, it's unknowing. And so we, we developed a lot of the artwork in this mural to kind of reflect that like unknowing mystical world. This is the former River East Bridge, so we want to make sure we embody that. Uh, the East Side is referred to uh, lovingly as the nickel, so there's a nickel component of it. I paint what I think I would like to see and that would make me feel good looking at because I believe art is healing. That's kind of like my service to people in my community is to help them heal whatever it is they may be going through. I mean, it's a constant flow of people through here all day and like so many people stop me and you want to talk to me and just say how much they love it. And I had a guy yesterday when I was painting this side, he stopped on his bike and like he literally started to cry looking at the wall, thanking you know me for painting something so beautiful. And like, I would, I, being paid is great, but like that, you, you can't top that. The Metro Parks have done the best job they could ever do for this city. They're taking this entire consumption of riverfront for once and using it for the people. Uh, the Metro Parks is a steward of taxpayer dollars, so it is our job to make sure that we embolden um, and tell the story of the people who we serve, and that's Lucas County residents. We couldn't be prouder of this space. Uh, Mother Nature is prominent in it. Uh, the colors are vibrant and beautiful. Uh, so we take a lot of pride in not only uh, where we're going in terms of the Glass City Riverwalk, but just as importantly from what we've come.